because time is all you have. That's the only thing we control. Mm -hmm. It's how you spend your time. That's, Did you have to that's, learn that? That's or? literally the only thing you can try. Oh, absolutely. I was going to say, because yeah, that's yeah, not you, something that you're I had. You're reckless with your time before. You just, you know, all over the place. And then, you know, you have to, what are you leaving your house for? You know, like every second that you spend, you're spending away from the development of these people that you brought here that you love mm -hmm. more than anything in the world. Mm -hmm. So what are you going, what are you going to spend that time on? So... That changed a lot. That changed practically everything. I think in the in the beginning it's about you and your circle. Okay. Right? You take your circle, you got the people that grind with you every day and share your dreams and slept on the floor with you and you, you know, and then you make it out. And then you look and he's like, okay, what else? Right? What else? Like how else can I be of service? Mm -hmm. You know, and as and as you move further and further away from you achieve these goals that you thought were you know, unattainable in the beginning and you achieve them. And then you look around and you say, okay, how can we duplicate this? The reason we created Rock Nation was to be able to say, okay, this is all the information we gathered. Here it is, Rihanna. Here it is, Kanye. You know, whomever, whomever, right? Like, and just like here, here's the information. So if we um, achieve those goals at 36, you do it at 26. Had you had someone at 26 or earlier to say, you know, his production thing, this is how you do it. You don't want to need the back end. You want to create the content. You want to own the content. You want to take it here, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. If you had someone just to give you that roadmap, that roadmap has been given to people since the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. We just was never um, privy to it. Privy to it. Yeah. We never had access to yeah. that sort of information. And we have a responsibility. That's the responsibility that we have. It's not, it's not a burden. It's actually a, a, a privilege that we have the responsibility to you know, usher in this whole new generation mm -hmm. because we, again, it's still all new to us. Like, all these things are just, just extensions of what we really love. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We, we love to drink champagne. We get a champagne company. We love, we love to talk about sports. We start a sports bar. So, you know, ownership in a company or, I mean, a, a, a sports team, that, that's only natural for us. Like, we own the box together. Like, right? that's just the beginning of it, right? We'll, we'll figure out a way to, get some ownership in the team at some point because mm -hmm. um, that's what we love I don't think there's any plan to say yo let me do you know this this that and the third it's like you know whatever things that you're um, interested in you just pursue Absolutely. and it's just having the confidence and the freedom to, to know that you can do this and, and, and the dedication and the passion like you know there's nothing that you know, obviously, this this sounds crazy, but I, I really believe this. There's nothing that, that we can't do. Nothing. There's, there's not anything that we put our mind to. That's how strong our minds are. If, you know, as long as it's with the right intentions. Like, again, like I said, some people, like, fall in love with the announcement. So their mind is not on the success of said thing. It's on the announcement and showing people, like, look, I'm in this space, too. Right? Hey, I'm really into action. You know, I'm really into like real work. I'm not into like uh, how it looks. You know, how it looks only lasts for a couple months until we really start doing the work. And everybody, oh, I've been in this position many times where people before I even say what I'm about to do have told me what I'm thinking or how it's going to turn out. And then that five years later, you know, we look back at this. Take title is a great example for it. Take that five years ago, and now you look at it today, and people have a different outlook on it. But at the time, it was like, what's going on? So I've been in this position many times, and you know, I just show up and do the work. I'm not really interested in how things look on the outside. It was it was all the accumulation of all the work that was put in early on just came bare, you know, bare fruit. Like Ace. This is 15 years, you know. Do say it's 10 years in in in, uh, in the making. These things we've been planting seeds for, and it just so happened that they all, you know, you know, happened at the same time. I think from the beginning, because we came from a street and a, like a, a a hustler's mentality, you know, it allowed us to think differently about the business. And on top of that, we couldn't get a record deal. It wasn't as if we came with this brilliant idea. We just use like uh, they say uh, necessity is the mother of yeah why you know, necessity why is the like mother of invention right so if we were we were we were forced to either give up either give up on the dream or to create our own lane mm -hmm. and because we had 
you know, this uh, entrepreneur's mentality, you know, we created our own lane. So we had started from 96 and then the information, then you just get closer and you're like, oh, there's other things. And then being curious, you gotta stay forever curious. You can't just, you know, a lot of, a lot of time, you know, we settle, we get, we get happy with the position and we think we made it when we just, like you said, there's another door, there's another thing. There's a, there's another door to open and to open, not just for yourself, but the next generation, um, you know, of entertainers, of, you know, great creative minds. And we have a responsibility. That's the responsibility that we have. Things don't happen to you, they happen for you. Mm. That's life. Everything is life. It happens for you. Everything is for your greatest good. No matter what it looks, you I mean, you know, you say you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans, right? You can't you can't control the future. I mean, you can control it up to some point. You can't control what others do, you can't control anything. Someone can run a red light and that's the end of everything. You know, you just you can't you only can control what you can control. So things don't happen to you, they happen for you. So when you when you look at those situations, strange thing about this, and I'll tell you this, it's a, a real, real deep thing because, because of how I grew up, I was always super highly aware. Um, you had to be to survive what I survived. And but there was a there was a point of knowing and execution that I had to figure out. Right? An, an example. In the song called Lost One, I said, can't run from the pain, run towards it. Okay. And Tata, again, Tata came to me and he told me, man, you know, I went to see my mom based on what you said. He hadn't seen his mom, his mom passed away. He went to go see his mom. And and I hadn't gone to see my nephew. So I, here, I, here it is, I said this in a song. I know what to do, but I was in, uh, you know, I hadn't matured to the point where I can really do it. You can actually go and do it. The execution of that, it was so much pain there that I couldn't do it, but I knew it was the right thing to do, right? So even that, like, think about that. Knowing and doing is, it's not close. It's, you think it's this close. Far. It's this far. 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 Yeah. It's, yeah. it's far. Yeah. You know, so I knew the right thing to do, but I wasn't able to do it two years later. I mean, finally went. Most painful thing ever. You know, I've been multiple times since, but the fact that I was saying that, knowing it, um, so that's, again, like you were saying about self-awareness, that's a big checkpoint for me. That was one of the times where I had to, you know, okay, you can't just be saying these things and not like really living it because this is having an impact on people you love. Like, mm -hmm. like this changed side, I, I felt horrible and great at the same time. I felt great that I was able to give him that information to make him get over, mm -hmm. to, to allow him, not make, to allow him to get over that hurdle. And I hadn't gotten over that hurdle myself. I had a same similar situation with my pop not being around as well. And then, you know, what cracked the code for me was like really, like, what was he going through? Mm. I, I took it from like that perspective. Yeah, it was like it's happening to me. Mm -hmm. He's doing this to me. Mm -hmm. And when I looked at it from his position, like my dad wasn't around, and you know, all these things happened. And then when I took a further look, his own, his his my uncle, his his younger brother got killed. So he spent all his nights like looking for the and, they, and the cops didn't do anything. So the killers like roam in the neighborhood. So he's going out in the middle of the night and he's looking for the, you know, the guy who killed his little brother, mm -hmm. right? But he has a family. Mm -hmm. So my mom is looking at him like, what you want? Mm -hmm. She don't have the language or the tools to tell him, man, we love you. We don't want nothing to happen to you. We need you, right? So how it comes out to her is, where the hell you going? Mm -hmm. You got kids here. Mm -hmm. And how it sounds to him is, you want me to choose between you and my yeah. baby brother, you don't, you don't give a shit who I was supposed baby. to protect, mm -hmm. right? Now there's the fracture, right? So among other things, you know, there they, is the relationship and there's their relationship, not ours. Not ours as children, it's their relationship. So there's a fracture in that relationship and you know, things happen and you are a result of those things. So you feel, you feel like, boy, dad's not around. It would have been dope if you'd have been able to take me to a baseball game and all these things. And then life on top of that. Like, he can't get a job. He's, you know, the guy at the office is cursing him out, making him feel less than a man. But he got to take it because he need, he need the $6.50 an hour at that time. Left, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So life beating him down. So he comes home, he's defeated. He don't, you know, he pulled to pick you up on Saturday. He's exhausted. You know, like, so you, 
we don't we don't factor those things in. We don't look we, at things through those lenses. Yeah. So, you know, seeing things from other people's perspective, you get the, it's the answer to you. It's a long answer, but seeing things from other people's perspective and what other people are going through, you know, it helps me a lot. You know, it helps me a lot. A lot of therapy, a part of being who I am, you know, but definitely a lot of, a lot of therapy. A lot of, you know, uh, you know, looking at yourself and 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 one to grow because we, we we we've been taught everything i've been taught everything but emotional intelligence wow you know that's wow. not what you're taught as a young man growing up in the projects you're Absolutely. taught to survive Absolutely. i support any protest that's effective you know and if you can provide effective ways to push a conversation forward and help people at the same time so i'm not knocking the conversation i actually welcome the conversation i want to be held to a higher stand i want to be I'm not even going to say high stand. I want, I want to be, um, I, I want to be held accountable for what I'm doing, right? It keeps me sharp, keeps me sharp. Let me know that I'm, I can't play around. I have to do what I said I'm going to do. I'm self-motivated, so that's fine. With, you know, the extra pressure is fine too. Just got to do the work. You know, that's the only thing that, that quiets that, right? Because, you know, we can, we can go back and forth and, and have different uh, perspectives of what we believe should happen, right? This should happen, or it should be like this, and this person should be involved. How can it go forward if this person isn't involved? You know, all these different things that we can uh, talk about and speak about, but no one can argue with the facts. No one can argue with the work, you know? So I just gotta do the work. And, and again, it's, 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 I'm familiar with this position. This is what, this is what I do. What is, what, what is everyone doing? What does everyone, everyone can speak, like those Twitter people you talk about, everyone can talk. Ask them what have they done. It's 365 days last year. I can tell you exactly what I've done last year. I can tell you everything that I've been done in that change. I can tell you the amount of people I saved from going to jail. I can tell you the amount of, I can tell you that I got this person out of jail. I can tell you that I've done this, 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 and that. I fed this many people. I can tell you exactly what I've done with my 365 days. What has everyone done? It's a challenge. Like, what are we doing? I mean, it's, it's, it's cool. We can have the conversation. And, and again, I'm not saying it's not needed. It's needed because we need to know what's happening. We need to identify the problems in order for us to, to address it. But after we address it, when we, what are we doing? Yeah, yeah it's, just, it's just another part of storytelling. Okay. You know, we, we all, we just storytellers. We really are. That's, that's it, it, in the most basic form, we're storytellers. Yeah, yeah, I was actually on, a, on a FaceTime with Ty today. Ty Ty, mm -hmm. you know well. Um, and I was saying like, I, I don't think people realize that we just sit around all the time and like, can you believe this shit? Can you fucking believe it? I can't believe this shit. Like just the, 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 and the, the place where we from and where we come from. Like everyone has that story, right? We all from tough locations mm -hmm. and that's just the way the world was set up. But just like the things that we were able to overcome and where we sit now today. You know, and as far as like, you know, success, I just look at it like all the people that I was inspired by, like Muhammad Ali was like, he gave me my bravado. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, mm -hmm. when people see that I'm like, I have total belief in myself, not because it's, it comes from a place of like arrogance and just this pompousness. It's just like, I felt proud. Like in a place, in a time where we all become, uh, were being called ugly, when Muhammad Ali was like, I'm so pretty, I'm the greatest. And like people paid to see him lose. Mm -hmm. That's what was drawing his fights. Mm -hmm. Like people were coming there to see him lose mm -hmm. because he was so confident in his ability. And not, not, be, not again, not from a place of arrogance because he knew he put the work in, one. And two, he, he, he lift us all up. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I hope that at the end of this journey or however it ends out, like I represent that to, you know, um, as well. Like a, you, a, a piece of that.